Fellas. Oh, they didn't put the new thing in the news. But here's a screenshot for this saying, Act 2 is out and there's a new tower that is released. The Necromancer, which is um, 1,800 gems. It's not cash, it is gems. So have fun slipping away for like two years of your life or something like that. <laughs> now, is this tower worth it? I actually don't know. Deal damage to collect souls. Souls get used to summon gravestones. Okay, I finally got money to place on this fella. He doesn't have any sound, so I don't know. Oh, this must be a thing. Anyways, uh, when he fills up this bar, which he can deal with uh, damage, a tombstone will play sound. And then when you click on this little ability here, um, fellas will go ahead and spawn out and fight for your cause. And these fellas march on to the end and will clash in with zombies. So that was pretty cool. My fellow fellas, come on in. And just suicide to the normal boss. <laughs> Anyways, level 1 goes for a bit more damage and pierce. Level 2 goes for fire rate, spawn count 3, and sword skeletons. Level 3 goes for, man, that's a lot of stuff. Giant skeletons, level 2 gravestone. And then max one, wow, that is so small to read. What the hell, I gotta, z I gotta put my face closer to the goddamn computer screen just to see this. Unlocks level three, Executioner Skeleton, Hollow Guard, Seal Souls, Grief Souls, all for a small price of $30,000, whoa. Anyways, now when I press G, it's gonna spawn in a lot more of these uh, cooler fellas, the Knights and also Giant Skeletons. Why is this guy just walking like that? And yes, they go in and try, to try, uh, try their best to like shank before the, uh, come down like this guy this is a pretty cool tower but i'm not really sure if it's worth it huh, i don't know i gotta buy this one and really make sure whoa necromancer meet necromancer counter spawn counter spawn yes yes we countered it we countered it <laughs> okay now i can finally max this out hmm i guess a buck at max level what a nerd he also now steals souls or something like that and uh yeah, he's beaming multiple people at the time. Okay, we're gonna press G now, and then boom, we we go ahead and get these fellas, hollow guards. Oh, what? What? I I, I just killed them. What? Wait, what? You can't you can't spawn in two of them at the same. What the hell is that? No, I just. <laughs> Okay. Okay, I didn't kill it this time, but yeah, it spawns on these 750 health fellas, which, as you expect, can uh, deal a lot of a lot of damage. Hmm. I wonder how many of these guys you can spawn in. Oh, just three. Damn it. Oh, to the maxies out. Whoa. Okay, I got one of these guys spawning the executioner skeleton, which has a giant axe, meaning that he can take that axe and just lob it across a map like that, doing some serious damage. Come on, dude, throw it. There you go. There you go. No worries. Here's, here's your friends back, buddy. <laughs> Oh my god, look at all those breakers dying, dude. That was such a clutch throw by him. By the gods. So uh, I'm not totally sure how to get the axe guy because it only comes in every so often. I think it has something to do with the damage meter, but I can't tell when that occurs. I guess you just kind of got to guess it. Okay, so I have the Molten Boss. I don't think Necromancer does too much of a good job on that, though. I'm having Golden Soldiers mostly take care of that, but I'm gonna sell these fellas just to see how much damage you can deal alone with just the Necromancers. Okay, I am gonna go ahead and use their abilities right now so we can have all these fellas come out. Uh, okay, so I see a huge problem with this tower. If um you use it, right, and there's tombstones that spawn behind him, congratulations, your tower sucks. Okay, well, I'm just gonna use it again, lol. Okay, we got another executioner out of field. I honestly don't know if we can kill this guy. Come on, throw it. There you go. Wow, you threw it all the way across the map. Just go home and die. Okay, fellas, I'm not gonna lie. I don't think this tower is really good for end game bosses. Um, especially due to the fact. Oh my god! Do why out of all the things to spawn, he spawned over here. That's so dumb. Okay, I have no choice but to move them by replacing because you can only place on three of these guys. You can't play you can't place on more than that. There we go. I move them all over here. I want to try my best to kill the the multi boss purely with uh Necromaster only along with DJ. Okay, pressing G now, so those two zones still go totally to waste, it seems. I press G. Wait, what? I press G, dude! Spawn it! Okay, there we go. We got a, uh, we got one execu executioner. There was a fella stuck in there, but that's fine. Fellas, not gonna lie to you, um, this tower could use some work, because it just has no sound, so... It sounds like the most stale gameplay ever. If I, if I remove 
DJ disses it. Yeah. And there's no going and pressing G and uh I'm gonna keep it real feel. I don't think we're gonna be able to kill this man. Okay, hold on, hold on. Let me try to cheese a spot so all the tombstones will spawn right here, but I don't think we have enough time. Uh G G G Yeah, I think we're gonna die. <laughs> Okay, so Necromancer is cool for all the ways except the last one because then he kind of becomes worthless. Just because, I mean, once the boss goes past it, GG, you, you, you are forced to sell him. All right, time for Act 2. Mm, I want to use Elf Camp and this guy as well. That would be kind of funny. Oh, man, I'm, I'm so glad he put this guy just a stupid text sound. Thank you. My God, I hate his voice. Back to killing kids. I love doing that. In a game, of course, not in, not in real life. Hey, those are the same guys that were on my team. What the hell, dude? Now they're on the enemy's team. This, this is bogus. I just, I, 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 hey, I, I bought y'all. Oh, I get money on kills, not on hit. Okay, elf camp, go. God damn it, did nothing. I died. I really need my, I really need my Emma came as to work again. Okay, this time I didn't die. Oh my god. I'm pro now, you guys. I'm pro. I'm playing. Le I'm playing legit. I haven't played legit in this game in like in two to three years, so it's very new to me. Ah, uh, yes, of course, ghost fellas. Hmm. I think I'm gonna die now. Yeah, well, I'm gonna rage quit anyways. I don't have time to lose. I just need my ammo commands back. <laughs> I don't know how to play this game legit. It's been too damn long. I suck at this game, dude. Without my ammo, I'm, I'm useless. But yeah, no, Necromancer is pretty cool. I'm just not sure if it's worth all the gems. If, if it was gold, I think it'd be okay, but it can't kill the boss and a tower costing gems there's i mean accelerator is just simply a better choice so um i didn't even get to see the boss because i just suck at this game <laughs> i'm sorry i'm so bad i haven't again i haven't played legit in three years or something dude <laughs> it's been so long <laughs> but then there's this fella on act three which we have no idea but this unlocks in three days which um it's in november so it's kind of no longer halloween but Okay, go off, I guess. As for the UGC, uh, I, I'm not, honestly, I'm not really interested in it, but I think you only get this through uh, RNG. I don't think there's any actual way to like buy or, or something like that. But yeah, until next time, I guess.